Yeah, I decided to make these uh, jumper cables conduct a better electricity. I was looking like, yeah, they're on there pretty good, but what I want to do is take the sandblaster, blast this out, uh, and use some uh, solder and flux. And after I blast it out, I'll blow out the air, hit it with some brake cleaner, and uh, I'm going to use the uh, the propane torch to melt into solder instead of a solder gun with flux. In this way, it'll make this is actually the weak point when these brake cables, like when they boost, like it's just a nice thick cable, but it's uh, probably not that super good connected there. So you got to have a mask for this, and uh, you can hear the air compressor running over here. That air compressor works pretty good with the sandblaster, so after I clean that out and blow it off with air, I'm going to use a propane torch and I'll heat that up with the flux and everything. And then uh, I'll fill this up with solder and uh, these will conduct a lot more electricity that way. And you can see the sandblaster sand. Clean that up really good. I used a little brake cleaner on it after that and blew it off with air. And I just touched the sandblaster here to show you that does a nice job of really making the metal nice and clean. So I'm going to use this and uh, get the torch going here. And I got some flux, so uh, that'll uh, do its thing. First, heat it up. It's probably not going to be, I uh, should have a helmet cam to do this, but I don't have one. Anyway, so uh, just turn this on. This thing's a puppy to get going. I'll get it. I got to turn the bottle on the side a little bit. Okay, so you can see that's filled up, and it's best to hold the bottom, the bottle from the bottom like this, heat the bottom. And, uh, you know, you look at how this one is, you know, it's not even make, you know, it's connected, but it's not like that. That's a hell of a lot more solid, so you're going to get a lot more juice through it when you put the cables on there, which is important. Sometimes you try, these are pretty strong cables, but the weak point is right here. So I'm going to do all four sides of this and um, get them done. Okay, those are the last two that are done, and, uh... You can see there nice uh, glop of silver on there. It's stuck on there really good. And the reason they don't do this is because when you go in the store, you know, these will work. But, um, you know, they're just crimping together. You know, it costs a few dollars worth of silver, too. So, silver solder. So, they're not going to do that because, you know, they want to, when they put, they put it in the package. But you can see the cables are thick, but that's the weak point. And if you don't do all four of them good, Whatever one's the weak one is going to be your weakest link, so make sure you do them right. And uh, you know, the reason you got these cables is for emergencies. You know, it's something stupid, but when you, when you need them, you need them, right? These are pretty good cables, but you know, you might be trying to charge, jump a car that's like got a really weak battery, and um, you know, you ain't got no time, or it's a, you know, you got to get out of a place or something like that. You want to make sure these are good. And so it's not just the size of the cable. The weak point is this connection, like I said, down here. And you can see with that nice silver solder in there, that's going to make a really good connection.